Welcome back to our repricer demo playlist. In this video, we're going to introduce you to Amazon repricing, as well as some of the core rule features you can make use of within repricer. As we touched upon earlier, repricing works by allowing you to set a minimum and maximum price for each of your products. You then create a repricing rule, which determines how your product will behave in various circumstances. This rule is what we're going to cover in today's video. But before we get into that, let's take a look at the pricing life cycle. In order to reprice, Repricer is constantly dealing with hundreds of thousands of repricing events. What these events are is a notification from Amazon every time one of your competitor changes price. Every time we get one of these notifications, we apply your repricing rule, and if a change needs to take place, we'll then upload this to Amazon to beat your competitor. This automated process will ensure that you are always competitive and securing those sales. For your safety, we will never reprice outside your minimum and maximum price, and we will always apply your requested repricing rule. Speaking of rule, let's have a look at one now. Rules are great as they allow you to set up different pricing strategies for different sets of products. You can have as many pricing rules as you want, but you can only apply one rule per product. Right here at the top, we have the core of our repricing rule. This is our compete with section. Using this setting, you can determine how you want to compete with your competitors, be that beat them, price above them, or match their price. This setting will be automatically applied to the lowest price seller on the listing unless you specifically target other sellers or exclude sellers in your other rule settings. If you want to be more specific, we do have competitor rules which let you target different types of sellers in different ways. For example, you can use these to target FBA, MFN, SFP, and Amazon completely differently. As this is just a quick demo playlist, I'm not going to take you through how this is all done, but you can see a video covering this in the video description. Below this, we can determine how our minimum and maximum price is determined. When getting started, we would normally recommend using manually assigned, where you quite simply enter a minimum and maximum price on each product. You can, however, use advanced settings such as net margin repricing to use cost prices to calculate your minimum and maximum prices. Using our exclusion section, you can exclude different types of sellers. This could be to exclude sellers who are not eligible for the buy box, Amazon themselves, or even specific sellers. Within our scenario section, you can also determine what your repricing rule will do in common scenarios. These might be if you're the buy box winner, there are competitors below your minimum price, or even if you're the only seller. You can even use advanced settings like sleep mode to turn off repricing at specific points of the day, kickstart to change your price randomly throughout the day, or even the buy box chaser to specifically target the buy box. If you'd like a more detailed breakdown of these settings, we have videos throughout the channel which will cover each in turn. In the next video in our playlist, we're going to take a look at eBay repricing. If you don't use eBay, feel free to skip on to the following video where we start talking about how to apply your min, max, and rule. See you there!